Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are headed into the woods. Uh-oh. It's backpacking trip weekend. And this is the trail. And this is where we're backpacking. However, I'm already home when you see this. Woohoo! I will bring you along on our adventure. Let's hope I don't fall in a puddle. It's lunchtime. Roasted garlic tuna, and it came with its own spork. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's Bumblebee. Bumblebee oh, brand. Bumble, bumble, and I got two whisks, cheese whisk, and they sell these at the Dollar Tree too. I didn't get them there though. Ooh, and I just dumped it in my foot. So we're stopping for breakfast for lunch we had breakfast i'm sweaty it's hot how many miles would you say we are from camp about two mm -hmm. we're about two miles from our camp we're out here in the woods literally sitting on the ground eating and then i will show you my tent when i set it up i couldn't find my tripod to show you setting up my tent but i have a spork and i am so keeping this spork and look it stores i'm keeping it the little things guys all right, I will see you at camp. All right, there's my tent all set up. There's dirt on it. And here's the inside. I have my backpack and my shoes. That's where I'll sleep tonight. And then here's our site. And here's Jen's tent. Hers is green. Mine is red. Guys, look at all of this mushrooms. I think those are hen of the woods or something. I don't really know what that is. Creepy. But then look. All up the tree. And then look up there. Isn't that so pretty? I think these are edible, but I'm not eating them. But how neat is that? They're so pretty. Just wanted to show you. Making my coffee. One cannot go backpacking without coffee source. Look at the mushroom I found. Not eating it because I don't know what it is, but. And then I have my dinner cooking. So tonight I'm having chicken and broccoli casserole. It's a keto meal. And this is what I boil my water in. And I also had coffee. But I need to get rid of this water. And then we're going to put the fire on. I will show you the fire. Jen is over there hanging her bear bag. I'm going to have to go help her. We'll see if she can get it through that V. Did you get it? She didn't get it. I'll help her. We got the fire going. It's starting to get chilly. Jen's hanging her food bag. We've had dinner. I'm ready for bed soon. I'm sleepy, but that's okay. We are having a fantastic time. It's so pretty up here. It is 6.10. 
It's so peaceful. We've seen four, five, six, seven, eight people walk past us to the other camps and then two going the other direction. Pretty busy for a Friday night in the Hawking Hill area of Ohio, but it's still fun. <laughs> Are you coming, Jen? I'm coming. Say hi. Hi, guys. Where's Jen? She's my my buddy. We pack, We go backpacking. All right, we need more fire. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that is. It is Saturday morning. It's like 11 o'clock. We've been hiking for a little while. And we just stopped for the first view. Can't really see a ton. But we're at the top of a hill. These are the wetlands of Ohio State National Forestry. Oh, yeah. And hikers over there. So pretty. There were so many people hiking too. What was there, 12 people near us last night? Yes. Between, including us? Yes. So nice. All right, the onward. The beaver's been working on. Yep. It's a big tree, too. More wetlands. And I'm assuming we're going way up over there again. Probably. To the tippity tops. I feel like we came from way behind us, right? Somewhere, yeah. Way up there. All right. We are at our campsite number two, and we are going to make this whole loop, and I'm so proud of us. My watch said we did seven miles today. I don't know if that's true or not, but the red tent's mine. The green tent is my friend Jen's. I think I showed it to you last night, but... I have an, a, be, a bed pad, a sleeping bag, a pillow, my wind, my warm weather clothes, and my backpack is in there because it's supposed to rain tonight. But it is so beautiful up here. Fall is coming in Ohio. Now I'm in Southern Ohio, but we're high up on a mountain. So the leaves are changing a little bit down here or up here. There you go, this is our campsite. We have room here to make a little bit of fire. And yeah, we're just gonna sit down and enjoy our dinner. Tonight I'm having Italian beef, no noodles. So it's like a lasagna without noodles. Oh guys, it's so beautiful down here. All right, I'll be back. This is how you make coffee in the rain. I know. In our little vestibules. Hi guys, I'm home. It's Sunday, it's about six o'clock. I am super tired. I thought I would just give you a little more of a rundown of my backpacking trip. So, my friend Jen came down Thursday night and spent the night with me. There was supposed to be a third person with us and she wasn't able to go. Sorry about the hair, by the way. I just washed it and I didn't put any product in it. Um, so our friend Jay couldn't come with us, which is fine. So Jen and I headed out um, at about 7.45 and it's an hour and a half drive, about hour and 50 minutes to Wayne National Forest from where I live. So we stopped at Starbucks, got breakfast, got coffee, and we drove down. We got down there at about nine-ish. I think we took off at about 8.45, 9 o'clock. Um, so what happens is we drive 
We went to the Iron Furnace. It's like a little mar park, memorial thing, museum set up. Something. And there's a bathroom there. So we go to the bathroom, we get our bags out, we make sure everything is situated, and we head out. So that's where the video starts, has heading out Friday morning. We hiked in about six miles on Friday and we made it to our first campsite that I showed you. And there was probably, I think 12 hikers staying at all the different sites there that they offer. There's a lot of tent sites in this way National Forest. So it's great to hike through. There's I think 23 or 30 miles of trails total. We did one loop that was I think nine miles, maybe 10, well, I think they trade, I think they, the trails have changed since the maps were made because my, my GPS and my watch told me we did six, six and two or one and a half. So that would be like 13 and a half miles. So it doesn't matter anyway. So we hiked backwards. So we went clockwise. We went in and we hiked to the second set of backpacking sites, picked our site set up we were there pretty early um made dinner went to bed early so we were tired then we got up the next morning at about 8 8 30 i think we got moving around nine so we're probably i think out of our tents by eight it was cold it was like 43 degrees so my first thing i'm saving up for for the next time we go is a better sleeping system uh, my sleeping bag, which it's fine for warmer weather. Like last night, it was okay. It was 60 last night, but it was in the 40s. It's definitely not um, warm enough for me. So, and I would like something a little more roomy. So this winter, I'm going to be looking for a new sleeping bag. And they're backpacking sleeping bags, so they're different than camping sleeping bags. So they're lighter and they stuff down real small so you can carry them in your backpack. Um, but yeah, everything else, my tent worked out great. And then the next day we hiked and we passed a bunch of people going all the different directions. And we made it to our next site around three o'clock. And there was a bunch of guys at one site and they, we were teasing them like, Hey, you're going to cut us some wood. And then they came over and I was like, we're just kidding. We were just teasing you. We're fine. We collected enough wood for the fire you would have seen. And it burned about an hour. But again, we were so tired that we just went to bed early. Now, last night, it did rain on us. We knew that was a possibility. So by the, the tent site, there's a service road that takes you down to the main road to get out. Or you can, and that was about a mile and a half. Or you go the mile and a half through the trails. But in the rain down there, it's not really safe. Um, the ground is a lot of clay. And it's very slick when it's wet. So um, ourself and then another couple that we saw hiked out down the trip, down this side trail and picked up the road. So we were home. I was home by 11 o'clock this morning and that's even stopping for coffee. So yeah, it was a fantastic trip. Um, you know, if anybody is interested, I can go over next spring. We're going to go again. And if I buy new stuff, I'll show you. And if you're interested in like what I pack, how I pack my backpack, I can do that in the spring. I forgot a terrible glare on my glasses here. Um, in the spring, when we get ready to think, fingers crossed, we're going to go to Virginia. There, it's about a six hour drive and it's called um, Grayson Highlands. And there's a loop up there we can do in the mountains and there's um, wild ponies that you can see. So we're thinking about doing that. There's just not a whole lot of backpacking options in Ohio that allow you to sleep in the woods and in tent sites and stuff. And I will tell you this one, we were pretty spoiled. They have porta potties and uh, pump water. Now, part of the reason that they supply water is because it's, Due to the word iron furnace, it's a very iron rich area and you cannot even filter the water to make it drinkable. I mean, you can smell the iron in the, in the water source when you're walking past. So you have to use, it's called potable water. They bring it up in trucks and fill big cisterns underground and you pump and the water comes out like a well. And it's, it's good, it was very cold and it was tasty and um, it's safe to drink. Now, when we go to Virginia, I believe we bring a water filter and we filter stream water, lake water, as long as it's moving. You don't want to drink stagnant water, but I will show you when I get my filter. 
other than that, I haven't really done much today. I've been doing, I had laundry going. I need to switch that over. I throw my sleeping bag and all my clothes and everything got wet this morning. So that all's in the wash. My tent's out in the garage, air drying for a couple days, and then I'll pack that away. Yeah, until springtime, it, I am not equipped to winter backpack. So I won't go back out now until the springtime, but it was good. It was a nice long weekend and I really enjoyed. So I hope you enjoy my video or did enjoy the scenes I shot for you. I tried to remember to take some video this weekend. Um, tomorrow will be a Dollar Tree haul and then I have another Dollar Tree haul coming up definitely next Tuesday but I might have enough to split up and do an extra one but we'll see how that all works out all right guys oh and I have some DIYs coming up of course it's the holidays it's when I love to do all my DIYing so you have a great day and I will talk with you soon